Welcome back to the channel and uh, back to reality. Uh, we got back last night, uh, right back at it mowing grass. Uh, we didn't get any rain while we were down there. Uh, evidently, we got some here. Uh, quick update on the cars. Uh, you seen the Cletus video? Uh, yeah, I probably should have went and talked to him, but like I said, they were they were filming, and I didn't want to walk in while they were doing their job. It wasn't an event. I just happened to be there when they showed up. Uh, all the track officials were urging us to go talk to them. They said they would be cool about it, but uh, uh, I just a little weird about that, I guess. Uh, but we did get to run it out in the driveway. Uh, it would have been awesome to see Cletus take it down the track. That would have been sweet. I'm sure he probably was cool enough to do that, but uh, like I said, we don't want to interrupt their their job. Uh, a lot of videos on the truck. Uh, that's coming Wednesday. The bug. Didn't make it. Uh, long story short, I ran the boat. I didn't seal up the deck. I didn't have any tape with me. And water got into the receiver. And evidently it backfed. I honestly, I don't know what happened because I think it backfed into the receiver or the speed control, vice versa. Uh, I made about two laps. It's in that video uh, Wednesday. I made two or three laps. It was perfectly fine. Then all of a sudden, it started getting the steering started jittering, and uh, I didn't have any steering, but I had throttle. Got it back to the house. Uh, changed the receiver. I got steering, and the throttle. The motor was like super slow, like the motor was burned up or the speed control. I wouldn't think a little bit of water, but I don't think any water got in the motor. But I think something may have happened to the speed control when the receiver got fried and the reason why the bug didn't get run I was trying to diagnose the boat put the receiver out of the bug into the boat steering that labored throttle like it was just like chugging it wouldn't go speed control was getting hot motor was getting warm and then all of a sudden I had no throttle still had steering and so we put the receiver back in the bug and it burnt channel 2 out. For whatever reason, I had steering, no throttle. I tried the Spectrum, the aftermarket Spectrum receiver that I had in the boat, in the bug. It never would bind. It just sits and flashes. It won't bind. Uh, so we tossed all that. It was cheap stuff. Uh, we did bring the boat back. But that's probably going to be the last of the boat. Uh, it wasn't super popular anyways. Um, we may put new electronics in it in the future. But for now, it's just an art piece. Uh, the bug will get a new radio, and it'll get freshened up because that bug's going to continue to be in videos in the future, uh, like it or not. Uh, the brushless system that was donated to the sand truck, uh, it bit the dust too. Uh, you'll see that in the video. We got a little crazy in, in the water. And brushless and water don't work together, especially salt water. But we did put the stock speed control back in it with the 15 turn. Uh, everything's fine. Receiver's fine. This one's fully functional. The drag car didn't see any sand or water, so it's good to go. So uh, we come back two out of four. I guess it ain't bad. Uh, like I said, that's an art piece. That'll be in the future. Uh, that car will forever be a part of the channel. Along with this one, probably at least, at least in the backdrop. Uh, coming up. Uh, we're going to do a vlog of my hometown in West Virginia. Uh, that'll be coming up in September-ish. Uh, end of this month, August, uh, we're going to a children's home. Um, it's a fundraising show, and we'll have the truck out there, so we'll have more car show uh, coverage. Not many truck shows yet. Uh, we do have to uh, submit our photos to get accepted to the Mini Nats. That opens up in October for a month. Uh, it's pretty prestigious to get in there. You have to be picked. You can't just sign up and go. Uh, the elephant in the room is this helmet. My brother's going to disown me if I don't paint this thing soon. So I have to, uh, now the vacations and all the trips are over with, got to focus on getting this helmet done. Front wheel drive body will be done next week. Uh, a lot going on at work. Um, I'm glad to be a part of that too. It's uh, Things are changing. We're getting ready to move. Um, Everything's up in the air right now. We really don't know what we got until we get there. Uh, other than we got a new 
more state-of-the-art facility. Uh, we've got two booths now, uh, bigger, a lot bigger building. Uh, they're just finishing up the uh, all the red tape, I guess, um, and paving the parking lot and all that still up in the air. Um, weather delays, permit delays, uh, but uh, it's been really cool to be part of that business. We've we've come a long way in three years. We come from working in a tin shed behind the boss man's house painting cars in the parking lot to a small building with a booth. Uh, now we're moving into an actual shop. Uh, it's been kind of fast, fast paced life uh, the last three years and taking a lot of patience. Uh, it's been trying to work in that uh, environment. Uh, other than that, it almost feels like fall when I got back here because it didn't rain at all while we were on vacation. Um, it was 94 to 97 with a real feel of anywhere from 105 to 115 where we were all week. I get back here and mow the grass at 85, 90 degrees, and it feels like uh, feels like fall. I barely broke a sweat. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it was cool, like I said, to have uh, all my family down there. My parents are uh, 80 plus now. Uh, they actually drove down. Um, and we rode down with three 17-year-olds in the back seat, and that was uh, amazingly, they uh, they were uh, good sports and uh, got a little cackly every once in a while. It happens. Um, my oldest daughter, her boyfriend, they drove themselves. I'll throw in a couple of clips at the end, a couple of highlights from our vacation. If you've seen the golf cart ride around, uh, that don't do it justice. Um, I didn't hit much of that island at all on the golf cart. I just kind of stayed within about. I don't know, probably a mile of our house that we were renting. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, we'll throw in a couple of clips. This is just a little filler video. Uh, come in Wednesday. I got kind of out of whack because I wanted to throw the this video up first. Because in the beach running video with this and the boat, um, I mentioned possibly going to Cletus's. And, well, we ended up going and just so happened we ran into them. Uh, so check that one out Wednesday. I appreciate everybody. Uh, future, uh, thinking about a possible giveaway if we start reaching that thousand towards the end of the year. We have to hit it by January or we'll have to start over all fresh again, which I will. I'm going to keep pushing it. I have no reason not to. Um, we get close to that thousand uh, towards uh, November, even into December. We'll give something away. Uh, it's going to be some sort of car, something cheap. Uh, we don't have a big budget here. Uh, that trip is our big spend of the year. We try to we book it the year advance and and pay for it all year. So it's not like we have uh, endless funds to be able to do things like that. And uh, like I say, I bless the job I have to be able to get off time and do that. And uh, anyway, uh, for the next few weeks, you're going to see possibly some more crawling videos. Got the new body, the new wheels, tires on the on the base camp. Um, what else is going on? Other than that, paint stuff. I got bodies to paint. Uh, I got a dirt late model body. We're going to do a patina paint job. I know a lot of people want to know how to do patina stuff. I do mine. Everybody does it different, so I do mine my way. Haven't done one in a while, though. Um, rig rundown is coming back. Uh, actually, I got two more episodes. The next episode, I have to finish the car, even though the chassis and all is done. I don't have an original body for it, so I do have to paint a body for it, and then we'll go run it. We'll possibly uh, race it, and then uh, that'll be it for rig rundown. We got two more episodes. We'll try to get those finished out for the year, uh, and then, like I say, we're creating a legacy of the new cars. We don't have that's all the history of the old. 20 plus year old cars um, so I'm done babbling now uh, here's a couple of clips of uh, highlights of the vacation and uh, we're looking forward to it next year thanks
one more day. It's over before you know it. I just got bit. <laughs> For real. Help. Is, there a is it alive? Yeah, you see how big he is? It's alive. <gasps> oh my god, I know Abby, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Alright, you ready? Yeah, sorry. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, are you getting it, Greg? Yeah. Can I get a picture with it? Happy birthday! 